in the last module we had used the fact that the square root of 2 is an irrational number let's prove that before i begin this proof let me remark that the proof i'm about to give is considered one of the most elegant proofs in mathematics it is very straightforward and simple at the same time very beautiful first let me make a very precise statement as as to what i want to prove proposition there is no rational number number whose square square is 2 so i am not stating that square root of 2 is irrational we don't even know what irrational numbers are so far what i am stating is if you take a rational number and square it you cannot possibly get the number 2 let's see the proof suppose q equal to m by n is rational okay further assume further assume that m and n have no common factors well we can assume that simply because if there is a common factor between m and n i just cancel it out i can get rid of all the common factors and put q in its lowest form now suppose q squared equal to 2 so this is going to be a proof by contradiction i'm going to assume that the result is false and that there is a rational number whose square is 2 and somehow arrive at a contradiction this just means that m squared by n squared is 2 or in other words m squared equals 2n squared okay now what does m squared equal to 2n squared tell us it tells us that 2 divides m square this is just means divides okay just this vertical line just means divides because the right hand side is 2n squared 2 must divide the left hand side which is m squared but if you think about it since 2 divides m squared it must be the case that 2 divides m okay think about why this is true think about why this is true if 2 were to divide m squared there is no choice but for 2 to divide m but that means 4 divides m squared okay 4 must divide m squared why is this the case because 2 divides m therefore 4 must divide m squared okay that means the lhs here is divisible by 4 that means the rhs must also be divisible by 4 now there is already a 2 coming from 2 and squared putting all this together we get 2 must divide n squared 2 must divide n squared okay because 2 divides n squared by the same logic 2 divides n and hence 4 divides n squared okay this is actually not going to be useful in the proof all i need is that 2 divides n okay but i'm just making that remark but that means 2 divides m and 2 divides n as well what is the upshot of all this 2 is a common factor 2 is a common factor for m and n this is a contradiction this is a contradiction why is this a contradiction because we have assumed that m and n have no common factors hence 
Hence, our proposition is proved. Okay. This is a course on real analysis and you have just watched the module on the square root of 2.